So one of the things I always suggest to the recruiters I work with, so here's a little t- like kind of takeaway is, um, I call them pop quiz questions. So every month getting a percentage or if not all of the recruiters asking one question of their candidate and client right. based month. So we did some work with an IT sales recruiter, um, make it up six months ago or something like that, where um, they asked every single one of their candidates that they happened to phone, which is a lot, what was their company car? Um, because that's something that they really care. That, you know, if you've got a company car, you really care about it. It's a perk. It's a, it's yeah. a sign of wealth. It's a life chance. Whatever you want to call it. Status. All of those things. Status. That's why I was going brilliant. Um, so they asked the question, and what came out of it actually was an infographic about the average IT salesperson in the UK drives a Beamer or an Audi. Um, and but what also came out of it wasn't just an infographic. We we didn't just invest time and get content. We invested time and created more lasting conversations. Yeah. The candidates that were being spoken to actually. Had a laugh and a joke with their recruiter which is something that doesn't happen enough no uh the recruiters came off the phone and went i just had a really good call and they don't do that enough um and it just made the information coming out of the call more relevant to the recruitment process which is about what is it that turns these people on what is it that they want from from a recruiter they don't just want an advert they can get an advert from a job yeah. for god's sake you know technology has turned the average recruitment consultancy into um, an online job board effectively yeah. that's what they do so to me, the, these pop quiz questions, we always say, you know, what questions can you ask your talent on a monthly basis to get you not changing your business process, but just engaging with it a little bit harder and delivering that back to your marketeers. They can do something interesting with it because ultimately, who's going to share that content when it goes live? The people who delivered it and who are their friends? Other IT salespeople. Yeah.